the number of multiracial Americans is up 33% since 2000. Experts say it's bound to shake up a nation used to measuring everything from school achievement to voting trends in single race terms. Here today, right now, in our time, so to speak, we are creating black, white, multiracial people. And isn't it a wonderful thing that's going to save our nation and, and take it into its post-racial destiny? Um, well, we know for a fact that, that there have been plenty of mixed race people in our nation's history and who have not saved it from um, the, the, its enthrallment to race that, it, that continues to, be, to, I think, be the primary problem in this country. And a lot of the advocacy in the multiracial movement comes from the, the, the individuals themselves who are mixed race, are much younger, called Generation Mix these days. They don't seem to have the capacity to say, I, I don't need a racial identity. They need one. Um, and so they cling to the multiracial identity. And I think it's unfortunate and it's, and it's sad because race doesn't exist. So you're, you're clinging to an identity that has really no basis behind it. There is one interesting question, and that is if there were biological races, as most people still think that there are, and two of those races are black and white, well, why is it that if someone's parent, if one parent is black and the other parent is white, why, why can't we recognize that the offspring would be mixed? Well, we do recognize that they're mixed, but in the United States, all, all of the mixed race people are black. So this is a matter of mores. This isn't a matter of science. This isn't a matter, this isn't an ethical matter. This is just a matter of custom, uh, which has its roots in society, namely a slave owning system that um, I'd say the majority of Americans today would consider to be deeply unethical.